you know, you're used to having your traditional cobbler where you take your milk and your sugar, your flour, your cup of cup of cup of cobbler. That's what a lot of people make. Uh, this one's a lot easier, less mess. You don't have to have the milk. You don't have to have the sugar. You don't have to have the flour, just a cake mix. One yellow cake mix and a can of large peaches. You want to leave the juice on that. Got the butter. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do first is just the whole can of peaches with the juice. We're gonna put it into your sprayed nine by thirteen casserole or cake pan. <clears throat> when a lady showed me this at church, on top of here. <laughs> she said, "Oh, it's just a cake mix." I said, "You're kidding me." So that's when I really started exploring more cake mix ideas because this, this is unreal how easy, you know, you don't have time to throw a bunch of things together. If you have these, just a few items at home is all you got to have. So we're going to just press this down a little bit. You're not stirring. You're just going to press down so that the juice kind of absorbs into the bottom. That way if there's any big clumps of yeah. the cake mix. Yeah, if there's the big, big clumps, you want to kind of mash those down so it flattens out a little bit. Now. Uh, questions on this. Can you use other fruit? Can you use frozen fruit? Can you use fresh fruit? If it has a juice, you can use it, okay? Canned peaches that you may make at home. You may can your own peaches. As long as it's got that syrup in it, you can use that. Uh, frozen peaches or frozen strawberries, if you break those out to thaw, they'll make their own juice. Put a little bit of sugar on it to give it a nice syrup. Okay, you can use those and put the cake mix over it. We were just talking earlier while we were doing this, uh, with the frozen strawberries, a chocolate cake mix on top of strawberries. And then, you know, then serve that with some Cool Whip. It'd be really good. So what she's doing now is taking and cutting pads of butter and placing on top one full stick of butter. You know, when you make a traditional cobbler, it's usually got a stick of butter. They melt it in the bottom of your pan. This you want to put on the top because this is what's going to make your batter on your cake mix. We sure did. We did spray the pan. Now, if you have the Teflon pans, I know Sue has shared with you before, yes. um, those, if they don't have the, the other metal scraping against that, taking off your Teflon, you may not have to spray those because if it's a good quality pan, you would not have to spray. But just to be on the safe side, you can spray. With this one, it's a good thing. This is a, a butter flavored spray, so it gives you that butter taste. It doesn't leave a, another aftertaste that you wouldn't like. So we're gonna pop this one in the oven at 350, which has already been preheated. Has to be preheated. Okay, this one takes a little bit longer. Uh, just watch it, 35 minutes to 40 minutes. May vary, may take 45. You wanna get it good and brown. You do not have to stir it. You do not have to do anything extra to it. Okay, um, it also says fruit cocktail on there is an optional fruit. That makes a really good one. When I was talking with some ladies earlier on these, you can also take uh, canned pineapples with the juice. And when that's done cooking, right before it gets done, put some coconut flakes on top and put it back in and let it toast. Then you've got a tropical fruit cobbler. So an orange cake mix, any kind of cake mix. Just be creative. You've got the pineapple cake mix you could use with your pineapples. The, the lemon, chocolate, yellow. I mean, cake mixes, there's so much you can do. You know, you can get the canned apples. Um, if it has like the heavy syrup in the, you know, that they make like the fried pies with the apples, you could always add a little bit, maybe melted butter or some, even a little water to thin that out a little bit so that you have more juice to soak up the cake mix. You know, it's, if you don't have that juice in there, the juice factor, it's gonna be a really dry, it's not gonna have that moist cobbler taste to it. Let's show you the peach cobbler finished product. That would be to your preference, whether you would want a really thick syrup or if you would want something lighter. You know, the sugar content, a lot of diabetics won't buy the heavy syrup, but they'll buy the light corn syrup or the light juice syrup. That would be a little bit healthier for you. Pillsbury actually makes a sugar-free, the no sugar cake mixes now. So you guys could really do I know a lot of you are interested in the, the diabetic or the sugar-friendly cakes. You could do the low, the low sugar cake mix, 
with fresh fruit and you've got something that's a lot, not too heavy, you know, and be great for diabetics. So that's, a, that's something that you can do. So that is the peach cobbler and you see that it's, it's got a nice brown crust, very juicy on the bottom once you cut into it. And when you guys sample this, you'll, you'll be really impressed on that one.